What up, nation? It's your boys, the Beast Bros. About to head to the gym and get a sick chest and back pump. Man, give me one of those. Show them this beautiful weather right now. Man, look at this. Look at this beautiful weather. Oh man, that sun is hitting me hard. It's a beautiful day today, guys. Perfect day for one of these. <laughs> Shut the hell up, man. Anyway, guys, we're gonna munch on some pre-workout little calories. Calories. <laughs> Some <laughs> calories, man. Some snacks, a little bit of snacks. It's just a little honeydew. But we'll see you guys at the gym. <laughs> Incline bench press time, baby. Now I'm not gonna lie, this video was probably recorded about two weeks ago, so I'm not sure about the exact reps, but it was probably around seven sets of 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, then two sets of 10. For chest and back day, I like to pair chest and back exercises that complement each other, where I can use the same rep scheme on both movements. For example, next up we did barbell rows for seven sets of pretty much the same rep scheme. So next up we had the barbell rows, um, on this particular day we chose to do an underhand grip as you can see but you can do an overhand grip as well. With the underhand grip you'll use more of your biceps, with the overhand grip you'll get less bicep activation and more of your lower back activation. I personally like the underhand grip better because it allows you to get a further range of motion. So that's basically why we did it today. After hitting the upper chest with incline bench, I like to turn my focus to the lower chest, usually with a decline hammer strength machine, but on this day, there was somebody using it, so instead of noobing out and waiting and losing my pump like a nub, I just substituted in decline bench for 4x12, which turned out to be perfect. Now the decline bench can feel a little unnatural when compared to the incline bench or the flat bench so you may want to use the smith machine just to get a feel for the movement. Next up we got them pull down. Close grip pull down man! Shit! Today we decided to change it up, instead of doing the traditional pull down, we decided to attach two single armed uh, attachments in order to simulate a close grip attachment. So yeah, eat a dick bitch. <laughs> Flat bench, a one rep, a two rep. All right, that's enough. As you guys can see, we hit that flat dumbbell press. This is one of those movements where you should always do it in your workouts. Um, you should have some sort of dumbbell work, whether it be incline, decline, bilateral movement, flat, whatever it is, you gotta include it. It's good for the stabilizers and it's good for overall pecs. You know what I mean?
you guys are just training for that road team, you know, Olympics. What? <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys are probably wondering why we're doing chest and back together. You don't usually see that. It's usually like chest and tries or back and buys or one of those splits. Fuck all that shit, man. I'm about that super pump life. Firstly, it's good to change it up. Secondly, the pump for this particular day is unbelievable. It's probably the best pump you'll ever get. You hit your chest, your tries, your back, your buys. You even get some core work in there. It just, it just overall, it, you should put in your routine. And it also adds a lot more volume to your chest and back throughout the entire week. Hammer strength machine. So we got that hammer strength machine. I love this machine, especially the incline version of it, but they do have flat versions of it and decline versions of it. Normally this is where the workout would end with the machine low row, but for some reason, I was possessed, man. I was like, we gotta do two more exercises, so for the next two exercises, we just went with three sets of 12. X, aka machine fly on this machine I like to focus on the inside of the chest and really squeeze at the end of the movement but when I'm flying with uh, dumbbells I like to focus on the stretch and the outer part of the chest Now a lot of people when doing this exercise, they like to flitter their elbows out but when you come together, you want to keep your elbows as close as possible and try to keep your arms as straight as possible. This way your chest will contract the best. Alright Nation, to finish up the workout, we got a little bit of straight arm pull down. So for this, for me particularly... Wait, hold up, hold up. Look at all those lines, man. Look at it's like a mini lat right above the large lat. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, man. So just as a last point, uh, this is one of those exercises where you want to stretch as much as you want to contract. If you notice, when you can see our muscles most defined, it's during the stretching motion. So really you want to bring that bar up as far as possible and then feel the contraction, feel the tightness at the end. Just got done with chest and back. Man, just goes to show you, just because you were tired before you started the workout doesn't mean it's gonna be a bad workout.
That was fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh, this guy's still dead, but I, I went ham. Turn, right? turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. What? You fucked up. You fucked up, baby. Fuck you. I'm still recording this shit. I don't give a shit. Well, anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Remember to slap that like button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bah! No. <laughs>